Tyrity Peterson, and I'm about to enter the strike zone with the fire ant. You guys ready? Your shot good? Yep. One, two, three. Holy cow. Ow, 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 oh! Uh! Ah, ah! Holy cow, that's a lot of stings already. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna have to take my hands out pretty quickly, guys. Ah, ah, so much worse than the harvester ants. Got it. I can't, I can't, I gotta stop, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. You alright? I gotta look, look up at you now. How are you? Tell me what you're feeling. A lot of pain. Oh, they're still on me. Oh, hey, what's up? 26, hey. 27, 28, 29. Too many to count? It's too many to count. I'm at about 30 just on my hand here. I'm guessing I probably took somewhere in the vicinity of 100 to 150 ant stings. Can you see that? Yeah, your skin is like all tight. My like skin is healthy. tight, swollen, and it itches and burns right now. Okay, so if you are ever out in the wild, let's say you're out there for a picnic, put your picnic blanket right down on a mound of fire ants, worst thing that could possibly happen, and you don't have a first aid kit with you, there's a little simple remedy that you can use. And it's kind of gross, but it's also kind of interesting. You can actually pee on fire ant stings to neutralize the sting. Wait, what? Yeah, you can actually pee. The ammonia in the pee will actually neutralize the stings and reduce some of the swelling. Okay, so, hold on, hold on, wait, how, we can't, I mean, how are we gonna have shots with this? Well, I'm not gonna just pee on my hands for you guys right here. I actually brought with me an entire bottle of coyote pee. No, you did not. Yes, I did. That That's is colored my pee. water, guys. That is not colored water. You wanna smell it? Mario! <laughs> I need you to smell this. He what? says he's got a bottle of pee and I don't believe him. What do you mean? That's... No, I'm not going to make Mario smell it. I'll smell it though. Yep, that's my pee, 100%. Uh, now, see, now I really don't believe you. Just smell it. You guys can smell it at home. <laughs> yeah, gross, right? I know. Totally gross. Is it, is, it is a bottle of coyote pee, but believe it or not, the ammonia that is in your pee will actually help to reduce the swelling and neutralize the venom. So what I'm gonna do right now, so disgusting. as gross as it seems, is I'm going to dump my own urine all over my arms and on my hands to try to reduce the swelling and the burning from these fire ant stings. You ready? Not really. Here we Hold go. Hold on, I'm gonna back up a couple steps. I'm not Use gonna splash you. Here we Come go. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah, that's pee. Oh. And I left this bottle of pee sitting in the sun all day. And I know this seems incredibly gross, right? And it is, it is super gross. I am literally rubbing pee into my hands and into my arms. But this is going to help keep down the swelling from all of the stings. Did not pull my leg. That wasn't just a bottle of colored water. Nope, that is pee. That is pee, 100%. That is pee. That is pee, 100 percent. And I left this bottle of pee sitting in the sun all day. Look at that. My hands have actually totally cooled down, and I think that the urine, it's, it's brought out the bumps in a little more definition, but I think that the swelling is actually going down at this point. And it's only been a couple of seconds. I can tell you this much, my arms are not burning at the moment. They still itch, but I definitely feel like the urine is doing the trick. That's pretty cool. Pretty now I know <laughs> it is. I agree. That was completely gross. Probably one of the grossest things you guys have ever seen me do. But hopefully this serves as a great example of what to do if you ever find yourself in this worst case scenario. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you next week. Now, while the urine did act as a temporary relief to my anguish, unfortunately it did not completely stop the effects of the ant venom. In total, we counted over 300 stings, and within 12 hours of the fire ant swarm, my hands had swollen to nearly double in size and were covered in unsightly white pustulates. Moral of the story, 
do whatever you can to avoid fire ants. If you thought this Behind the Adventure was wild, make sure to go back and watch the full episode. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.